Hot Sunil Subramaniam as well and find out what he's making of the market. Sunil, hi afternoon. Do you think a large part of the selling could well be behind us or do you sense uh, further EPS cuts coming in post the earnings? So I think the EPS story could see some more cuts and I think the next year's forward fee will get revised. So, but I don't think there's a chance for market to fall too much more because you see this month's uh, whatever, 1 lakh crore of FI outflow, mutual funds did not entirely participate because there was fresh issuance of IPOs in the Indian market and they concentrated there. Whereas FIs, I think only the Hyundai IPO, they made a significant approach. So money was locally used for the fresh issuance and so they couldn't counter the FII selling. Now that is past us. I think there's a big Swinti IPO. But apart from that, you know, the domestic money is now ready to buy the stocks which the FIs have been selling and have corrected. So I think that second thing is that domestic fund managers have been smart enough not to buy every time the FIs sell, not immediately buy, but wait for the selling to come through, the prices to come down to more reasonable levels. And now they are stepping into buy. So I think they've been very smart and staying on the sidelines on the initial FI selling and then re-entering. Bear in mind that this FI selling has got partly to do with the Indian earnings downgrade, but that I think now the price is reflecting. But the US uncertainty related uh, selling, because money is going back into the US and the Japan, that is not India centric. So I think domestic fund managers are sensing an opportunity. And I think now from now on, even if there is further FI selling, domestic fund managers will step in. So I expect a sideways market uh, to come through Another 10 days, we'll have the full earnings picture and then a fresh direction will be obtained. But bear in mind that November, second half, December, first half, uh, FII's hedge funds will continue to book profits. So I don't expect a strong rally from the FII side to come in and buy because whether Trump or Harris wins their economic policies, some amount the market is guessing, but I think you'll get clarity from their public statements when the result is out. So expect a volatile FII period continuing till the end of the year. But domestic fund managers, I think, are now ready to buy that which has not risen. And banking and financial services are top of the pack. In the last one year, even the Nifty has gone up 25%, the banking index has gone up only 20 So clearly, good quality banks are a strong buy from domestic fund managers. Okay, so the banking space remains the top of the pecking order if you're looking at buying, but the FIRs might not come back in a hurry. It might be sideways for the next couple of months, given the fact that November, December is usually a bit slow for the FIR money. But bear in mind, we do have important um, you know, federal bank decisions also lined up after the election. So it promises to be a very, very volatile month. And then, of course, back home, we have the Maharashtra elections to deal with. So that is something as well that the market will try to get acclimatized to. But for now, 24,200 at the index level a very very um, you know sharp recovery coming in but Duresh if I can get a view on the private banking names which are leading the charts right now um, okay we see uh, we have uh, Kunal with us in the studio so Kunal your view on the private banking names so Axis Bank, HDFC, SBR, Indusind, I say I say all of them are leading the chart from here on if I had to ask you the strongest candidates within private banks what comes to mind? ICC Bank and HDFC Bank are the strongest one from the larger cap private sector banking names. From the mid cap end, it's Federal Bank, which has been looking very strong. The stock perched at uh, you know, sub, uh, just above the 200 levels, uh, even though after uh, you know the stock is showing a muted performance today. So I think these are the kind of names which are looking very strong. Then from the uh, you know mid range, uh, not in a clear underperformance, but a mid range stock, Access Bank, which is just about hovering around the 200 day moving average, uh, you know for itself around the 1100 to 11. Uh, you know, 70 kind of a range. That's a stock which is also looking attractive in terms of a bottom formation. And the good part about the stock is that it's consolidated for almost the last three to four weeks at this longer term moving averages. <coughs> so more or less the stock is trying to take support at these levels. So I think in terms of leadership, in terms of the price uptrend, you're looking at uh, HDFC Bank and ICSA Bank, which are the stronger candidates over here. From the PSU banking lot, even SBI and Bank of Baroda, these are the two names which are looking quite charged up. Uh, I think Bank of Baroda today has managed to also cross back above its 200 day moving average which I believe in a, on a technical uh, you know, basis is a very important and a crucial sign for the stock as well as for the entire sector. Okay, that's that on banks. But just want to flag off some of the metal counters as well. They've been holding out very well. There is the steel anti-dumping duty, which might be in the works that we told you exclusively about. And that, uh, you know, the, uh, the duty may actually rise from... Uh, the current 7.5% to 12% and it seems that the finance ministry is looking to discuss the measures to try and, try and protect the industry. The government has also uh, 
considering uh, tightening quality checks on imported steel. The steel ministry has urged the finance ministry for action amid rising imports. Uh, that said, there's of course JSW Steel, Tara Steel, Hindalco, um, you know, all these metal counters are holding out very well. There's, of course, SBI and HDFC Bank along with Axis, which uh, Anisha just flagged off. They're all looking good. There's Maruti, which is holding out very well. There's ICSA Bank, which is looking strong. Tara Motors, too, has made a comeback. In fact, uh, other than LNT, TCS, M&M, uh, you know, Infosys, ITC, etc., you're not really seeing a whole lot of uh, red uh, per se sectorally. Some of these stocks, which have in any case been very resilient in the, you know, in the fall that the market has had, they're the ones which are just lying flat right now. But, uh, you know, since we did address the steel uh, import duty, uh, here's the exclusive. We're learning that the government may soon be announcing some safeguard duties on steel imports. Let me take it across to my colleague Prakash Priyadarshi and get in more details on the same. Yes, sir. We are learning from our sources that the government is likely to announce safeguard duties on steel imports very soon. We are given to understand that the finance ministry is likely to make final decision to protect domestic industry from cheap imports. In fact, the anti-dumping duties or safeguard duties may be increased to 12% from existing 7.5%. And the government is also contemplating uh, you know, tightening quality checks on imported steel, a very significant development coming in. Uh, sources have also informed that the steel ministry has made a fresh appeal to the finance ministry to take a final call as soon as possible in order, order to protect the interest of domestic industry. The steel ministry has also informed the Ministry of Finance that the steel exports have decreased by 36% in the first six months of the current financial year, whereas uh, imports have risen significantly by over 41% in the first six months of the current financial year. Therefore, India has become net importer, which is uh, an alarming situation for the domestic industry. Therefore, industry has been demanding uh, government for its in, uh, urgent intervention and calling for anti-dumping duties uh, and safeguard duties against cheap imports from China and countries like Vietnam. Along with that, the industry has also requested government to impose duty in line with those of uh, USA, European Union and Canada, where these countries uh, have imposed 25 25% safeguard duties on steel imports to protect their domestic industry. Interestingly, imports have increased sharply despite the fact that, uh, that there, is, uh, there is a surge in the inventory uh, of uh, domestically produced uh, steel. Therefore, the government is likely to make a final decision as soon as possible. Okay, final decision as soon as possible because the imports have been on the higher side and yes, this has been an ask for the, by the industry for a long time now. Um, in the meantime, the market continues to do very well for itself. A lot of individual buzzers, right from an HFCL to a Kirloskar Brothers to a Sapphire Foods. All of these stocks are holding uh, very well in the broader markets. While on the losing side, Amara Raja continues to be under pressure. You also have Fortis Healthcare, which is down in the trading session. And ABB India continues to reel under pressure. In fact, as we head into this very short break, here out what the management of ABB had to say on their con call. Because they did say that, of course, there are a lot of segments like data center, etc., which is seeing uh, quite a bit of sharpish growth but the rate of execution might slow down sipping into very short break but hear out what the abb management had to say given that our books have been mixed with now the large orders which have larger gestation period so the conversion rate that we may have witnessed in past uh, that may not be the same velocity. Overall, I think um, the large order, a large order which are there in the backlog, will see an uh, execution which has to match the overall project timeline. So, uh, so that's something um, which we are trying to make sure that uh, uh, we are not we time it correctly so that we don't have a lock up uh, and networking capital in the single road there. And also, we're making sure that what is needed for the project is what is delivered so that we have a seamless execution of this particular project. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.